Hello and welcome to your foam roller release class. So if you don't have a foam roller, you can use either a couple of cushions, um, grab some beach towels, roll them up so you can have something to sort of roll over. We won't be rolling out the body, so if you'd like to pause this video, have a quick foam roll and meet me back here, you can do so. Otherwise, we're going to get started. So grab your towel or your cushions or your, your roller. Um, even a half length roller is absolutely fine. I've just got a full length one. Take both hands behind the head and we're going to start nice and high on the spine. So I want you to start just sort of where your scapula are around that mid to upper thoracic. Feet a hip distance apart, knees a hip distance apart and just take your elbows into your peripheral vision and let's take a nice inhale as you let that back stretch over and exhale as you come on back up. So I don't want you to force it, I just want you to keep that tailbone really still, allow your upper back to stretch over the foam roller. You might be stretching further than me or not as much as me and that's fine as well, just ease into it. So we want to sort of get that mobilisation happening through the upper back. It's not so much about, this isn't about ab work, I just want you to take that nice big inhale breath as you feel the back starting to relax as you head on over. Nice. And let's shimmy ourselves a little further back, so just a couple of centimetres, and keep on going for me. So really big reach over and bring it back up. So this will intensify that stretch just a little bit, so if it feels intense, you can move that foam roller back up towards your head a little bit. So now while you're here, I just want you to really focus on keeping the tailbone planted into the ground. We don't want to send the art sort of like we don't want to arch into the back like this. I want you to keep that tailbone down, keep the lower back quite long and under control. So we don't want a passive stretch. We want to really control through the lower back and try and keep thinking about melting and almost like you're trying to spill the upper spine over that foam roller and pull it back up. Let's just do two more here. So spilling over slowly and up. Last one. Keep thinking about letting your head go longer, trying to reach out longer through the upper back. Nice work and let's move one more time. So we're going to do about six more, moving one more time a little bit lower. So about mid-back, mid to upper back, but we're definitely a bit lower. So I'm about, I'm sort of on my rib cage now and I'm going to limit my um, range here. So I'm not going as far over, but I'm still enjoying that really nice stretch. Only going over as far as I can keep my tailbone planted down and I'm not letting my lower back arch up completely to the ceiling, keeping it low. Remember, we're trying to spill out the top back. Nice work, and let's do two more here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, nice work. Beautiful, so you're just going to turn onto your side, and we are going to do a little bit of lat release. So I want you to just take your hand behind your head, both hands behind the head, and I want you to find your lats, so just below the shoulder, and I want you to rock forward and back, forward and back. And I want you to almost uh, try and almost act as if you're trying to push your scapula gently to the middle of your spine. So you're going to find that. It might feel really sticky. It might feel fine. And if your foam roller has lots of texture or it has those bumps and lumps, you might want to put a couple of towels over the foam roller so it's not as intense or even a cushion, a soft cushion over the foam roller. So we're forward and back here. And what this is trying to do is loosen up and try and find a bit of release through the muscles in that upper back. So rocking forward and back. That's 
it. And we're going to make this even bigger when we come into our open. So that's coming. Nice big stretch over to the side. Let's do two. And one. Nice work. So staying here now, making sure you're on that foam roller. Keep your hips stacked as you now take your top elbow all the way around. And we want to close it back up. If you want, arm goes all the way out. And then take it all the way up and around, really stretching and bring it back over. So keep your feet down. All the way over. Nice. And back. Let's do two more here. Big stretch open or you're just coming to where you can without completely letting those hips t tilt and twist. Last one. Nice work, bring it back, and you are just going to press yourself up here. Let's stagger those um, feet. So my left foot's tucked into my right foot. You can be doing the other side, that's okay. And I'm gonna put my forearm onto my foam roller. I'm going to take our mermaid stretch here. So sitting up onto your hip bones, let's take your right hand onto your right foot, left arm up and around. Hopefully that foam roller doesn't roll too far away from you. Find your foam roller as you come back down and then you're going to take a stretch over. Let that foam roller sort of guide your arm back the other way. So a little bit of core activation to pull you back and stretch over to the right. And then hand down to the roller and rolling yourself, allowing yourself to roll all the way. Just to where you can control. All right, so let's incorporate some breath. So inhale, begin. Exhale, reach. Inhale, center. Exhale, stretch. Nice. Keep sitting your hips into the mat. Exhaling, control from your center, reach, big stretch over, inhale and exhale. That's it. Reaching out with both arms, trying to keep this right hip down into the mat. We're going to do two more this side. Big reach, sit both hips into the mat. And over. Last one here. Nice work. Let's just take your foam roller around to the other side. Let's change. And then we'll work back down into those opens. <clears throat> so hips sit into the floor. Let's take your left hand to the left foot this time. If you need to, you can pull the knee in a little bit. If you can't sit like that, that's so fine. Otherwise, hips into the ground, opening up through the hips. And let's take your left hand to the left foot and right arm up and over with an exhale. Inhale, hand to the foam roller. Exhale, stretch. So your hips don't leave the floor. That's it. So only going as far as you can keep those hips down. So for me, it's about to here on um, this side. I can feel my hip lifting a little bit. So I'm going to stop there and pull it over. Good. So we have four or so to go here. If the foam roller feels too strong here in this position, or if this side is a lot harder, you can get rid of the foam roller. Um, and incorporate it maybe next time you do this class. Big reach over. That's it. Nice work. Last one here. Hips sitting into the floor. Exhale, reach. Inhale. And exhale. Nice work. So let's 
take those feet knees together leaning onto your foam roller both hands go behind the head and let's find that sticky kind of point between the the back of the shoulder and the scapula your around your lat muscle and let's rock forward and back here forward and back so you can find that I'm sure you found a point might take you a couple of little rolls to find it if you want to top hand can go down so you could use this as just a little maintenance um, you know foam roll every now and then maybe hopping up from your desk during the day lunchtime whenever you're feeling a little tight through the upper back or the hips all right couple more here all right and let's take that arm forward now and then find that big stretch open and forward So you're going to have to find that point where you're sort of pulling your hip forward. It's a nice stretch without falling backwards. And again, getting rid of the foam roller if you don't want to use it, if it feels too strong. Nice. And let's go two more here. And last one. Nice work. So we're going to pop you up to kneeling. Take your foam roller out to the left. And we're going to come into a bit of a thread the needle. So right hand onto the roller. And I want you to roll the foam roller away from you and pull it in. So we're going to stay here. And just enjoy that stretch it brings through the um, upper back and that twist. Shoulder coming nearly all the way down to the floor if you can. All right, and if you're feeling fine there now, take your right arm up towards the ceiling. And then as you come back down into your foam roller, roll along. If the foam roller is annoying you or it's not working for you, just get rid of it and continue without it. Keeping your hips square to the mat as you reach up and around. Two more here. And last one. Nice work. Changing sides. Take it over. Both hands inside the roller. Let's roll out to the right this time. You might find one one side is feels a lot more released than the other. Sort of really allow your shoulder to stretch through. Nice work. Let's do three more like this, and then we'll add in that extension for six. That's it, last two. And last one. And adding in your reach, so up and around. And twist. Shoulder comes all the way down towards the floor. Three to go.
and two. And last one here. If you've got your towel, remember you're just sort of reaching towards the towel, even if it's not rolling, it's still a nice stretch. Nice work. Take your towel or roller down in front of you. Both arms go out onto the roller, legs go nice and long. And we're going to start with some shrugs. So I want you to draw your tailbone under, shrugging those arms towards you, shoulders down and back, and then lowering. So we're going to start with shrugs. Keep your eye line down at the floor. I'm going to get on my mat. So taking up as much space as you need. So just your forearms sort of rolling through your forearms, keeping your arms long and hands facing each other, palms facing each other. And as you start to feel comfortable, feel into that movement and start rolling up a little higher. So shrug, chest bone forward, shoulders down and back. Allow your glutes to sort of relax, but keep drawing the tailbone under just gently to protect the lower spine if you're feeling a bit grabby through the back. And yeah, so start rolling up a little higher and down you go. Inhale to start your roll, exhale lift and lower down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale down. Let's do two more, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhaling, and exhaling all the way down, nice work. Take your foam roller, press yourself back into your child's pose for a moment. Walk your hands around to one side, stretch your body to the other. Nice, and back around the other way slowly. Good work. So you're going to pop onto your backs, but we're going to pop the foam roller under your um, hips. So come on down and the best way you can, usually I just come on down and then my foam roller or my towel or my cushions is going to come under my hips. And let's have a hip stretch. So take both knees into the chest. And if you find this is a bit too much, just come back down to the floor. All good. Let's pull both knees into the chest. The foam roller is under your tailbone. And you might find it rolls around a little bit, but just correct it. Make sure it doesn't go too far away from you through this stretch. So we're going to draw your left knee into the chest. And right leg is going to allow to go out to the side. Sorry, to the front. <laughs> to the side. Allow that leg to come out to the front. So just pulling that left knee in. Nice, and left knee is going to go to the right, just gently, not too far, not too much range. We want to stay still on that foam roller. And then back through center. And keep your right hip down as you let that left knee come out to the left. Remember being nice and gentle. You want to keep both hips down. If it's too much through the right hip, just pop your right foot on the floor. Bend your knee in. Nice, back through center. Otherwise, let it come down and stretch and let's head on back over to the to the right shoulder stay down so this is really nice through that left hip but it's also really nice to open up through that right hip you might notice your foot's now on the floor or maybe it's still in the air that's fine nice work so now either keeping your right foot down or bending it in we're going to pull that pull the back of the knee towards the face and extend your left leg all the way up to straight so this is where you might need to bend that right leg in and bend through that left leg pull the back of the leg in flex your foot extend big stretch through the back of the leg and bend extend big stretch 
and bend. Let's do three more. Exhale, extend. Drive out through your heel. Inhale, bend. If it's too much, you might need to ease off your grip into the leg. Two. And one. Nice. So hold it out, this next one, and we're just going to point and flex. So point through the toes and flex. If you can, floating your right leg up, you can pull that um, left leg all the way in towards the face now if you want to. Pointing and flexing. Totally up to you. Just deepens that stretch quite a lot. And allows you sort of to use your arms where on the mat, if you had your feet on the floor, you might not be able to pull the leg in so close. Good, so every time you draw your leg out to straight, really driving out through the heel, stretch, 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 and point, last one. Good work. Bending both knees back into the chest. Let's let that left leg go now. Right knee in, pulling it in. Left leg all the way out. Allowing that left hip to open now. And when you're ready, let's take that right knee over to the left. Small range. If it's too intense, remember just bending that left knee in. Feet, oh, sorry, foot goes onto the floor. And over out to the right for me. Remember just adjusting that foam roller if you need to. Keep both hips planted into the roller. Over we go again. Nice. And out to the right. Really good work. So let's take your left knee and bend it in if you need to. And both hands interlace behind the right foot. Exhale to, or the right knee, sorry. Exhale to extend and inhale to bend. Exhale, extend for five. Inhale, bend. Exhale for four. Exhale for three, if you can, extending your left leg all the way out as well. Nice, two. And one. Beautiful, all right, so extending and holding. Bringing your grip up a little higher if you can. Extend your left leg out. Let's point and flex. Really driving out through your heel. Point for five and flex. Point for four. Remember you can drop that left leg if you need to. Just focus in on the right. Good, last three. Nice work, really point, last two, pull it in. Last one. Good work, bending both knees back into the chest, either hands on the floor or hands either side of the roller and just side to side with those knees. But make sure it's not going too far away from you, side to side. Keep your shoulders down, holding that foam roller in. Feet together, knees together. Nice work. Alrighty, we're going to do a little bit of a hip opener and then finish with a bit of neck release. So legs go up to straight to the ceiling and we're going to go open. So feet pointed and let's inhale as you turn, toes open. Exhale, zip up through inner thighs. Inhale. So a little bit of work require, required through the abdominals for this one, but feels quite nice through the hips after. Good. So finding a little bit more each time. Turn open, open, open. Nice work. Two more here. 
And last one, keep lifting those toes up out of the hip joint. Nice work, forward and back. So one foot towards the face, pulse, pulse, and change. Pulse, pulse, and change. So trying to keep those toes pointing outwards, that external rotation. Inhale, exhale. Good. So you're just trying to find, it's not a bang, bang pulse. It's like just a, I'm trying to find more length, more length, and then change. You've got two to go. And last one. Nice work. We're going for a bit of a helicopter motion. So you're going to draw the right leg to the face, the left leg away. We're then going to circle all the way around and start again. Let's go left leg towards the face, right leg away. Circle, 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 all the way around and back. Right foot to the face, circle, 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 and lift. Left leg. Go, go, go. Find that stretch through your hips, combining all of those moves now. That's it. Left, go, go, go. All the way around. Nice work. One more each way. Right. Windmill, windmill, wind, windmill. <laughs> you try to say that quick. <laughs> and left leg towards the face. Let's go all the way around. Take your time. Big stretch around. Nice work. Take your knees, hug them back into your chest. Really good work. Now, let's take those hips gently into the floor and feel your lower back just sink into the ground. Feet can just go on that foam roller or on the floor. Nice work. And let's just go second spine twist here on the ground. Lower back into the floor as you pull it back through center. Nice, let's go a couple more each way. And one more each way. Feet are moving together, so picking up the opposite foot. All right, so neck release for a couple minutes to finish off. You're going to pop that foam roller back. And we're going to pop the, we're going to lay on our side. And I want you to just take your left arm or bottom arm nice and long. And I want you to find where your hairline meets your head or your skull. <laughs> where your hairline meets your neck <laughs> is what I meant. <laughs> and we're going to stay here. And I want you to just um, sort of roll forward and back here. So pressing the base of your hairline into that roller, looking up to the sky and back and just finding that point of your neck. You might find it straight away. You might have to move around a little bit, but forward and back until you just find a bit of a spot that's potentially a little tender. So the idea here, I don't want you to really force your head into the roller. What we're doing is just trying to promote some movement of sort of liquid around, stagnant liquid maybe around the neck. Um, so just a light um, roll actually, so not too hard, but just find that spot where you can actually feel something. And if you don't feel anything, that's good for you. <laughs> Forward and back. All right, now I want you to nod the chin and look up. So the roller might roll with you. Nod and then looking up.
Nice, just a couple more there. That's it. And then little circles around with the face. So imagine you've got a crayon on your face or on your nose and you're just drawing some little circles. We'll go for about six to eight each way. And changing direction. Last couple. Nice work. Alrighty. Let's take you just onto your other side. So you can either just roll over. I'm going to just change sides. And we'll finish with a couple of roll downs. So laying on down to your other side. Arm goes out. And let's find that spot we were just talking about for you. And we're going looking up to the sky for this one. And back around to the front. To the sky. And to the front. Remember, we're just trying to promote some movement. But you do want to find that spot where sort of the hairline meets the, um, the neck. And work through that. Good, a few more this way. Nice work, alrighty, so nodding. And if you find this one doesn't didn't really do anything, you can keep going with the um, forward, and, I mean the side to side if you would like to. Kind of find that spot where you are able to roll the foam roller a little bit. And kind of looking out on the diagonal and rolling in through that spot. That's it. And let's go circles. So whichever way you want to start with, just sort of nuzzling that foam roller. <laughs> And back the other way. Nice work. And let's slowly take you to your back. And we're just going to finish with some nods. So nodding and take it back. So back is into the floor. You don't want to roll onto your vertebrae into the neck. I just want you to more stay up on the head and really lightly looking up and finding that length nodding through the chin. Nice, just two more here. And last one, really good work. So slowly turn onto your side, press yourself up, and we're gonna grab your foam roller and take you to the wall. Hair is nice and messy thanks to that um, 
neck release. So I'm at my wall. I've got my foam roller. I'm putting it um, to the base of my tailbone. If you don't have a foam roller this length, just do it at the wall. So you're leaning back on the wall. You're in your neutral spine. Step away from the wall a few steps. And I want you to keep your tailbone on at all times. So I want you to take an exhale breath to draw your tailbone under. And then you're going to start nodding through the chin and peel the spine off your roller just about halfway. Take an inhale breath. Exhale. Let's place the spine back on one vertebrae at a time. You can really feel it roll into the roller and all the way up. That's it. So slowly after doing that neck release, rolling down. Keep your foam wall there and rolling back up one vertebrae at a time. Nice work. Let's do three more here. Nod through the chin. You can find a little bit more length each time. Remember to keep that foam roller on the wall, so make sure your tailbone is on it. And rolling the tailbone through the mid-back, upper back, restack the spine, head presses into that roller, find your neutral spine, bend through the knees, two more, nod through the chin, each vertebrae one at a time. So if you're not finding each vertebrae one at a time, bend your knees in a bit more, pelvis rolling on the roller, inhale at the bottom, and exhale, finding tailbone, lower back, mid-back, and upper back. Let's go one more. Nod through the chin. Good work. Exhale, roll all the way up. Nice work. Roll your shoulders down and back a few times. And you are all done. Thanks for joining me for that foam roller stretch and I'll see you on the next one. If you have, if you did enjoy this one, please like it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and um, support me grow this channel. And I'll see you in the next one.